Hey, hey, hey. Chop your paw. Chop your paw. The meaning is ticklish. Hey, hey. Get on here. Why are you poking me? See if you're ticklish. And then if you tickle him too much, he gets angry. Wait. Are you poking him in the oh. eyeball? <laughs> what? Stop poking <laughs> him in the eyeball! Energetically, kind of anime style cheerleading. Uh, he's falling off the bed. Hey. He's putting me. He's put. Hey. Hit, what do you. As long as he does it quietly. We're, we're, ca we're casting now. <laughs> we're, we're casting. You have, have to go sit down. This is very important. We're almost at three dollars. If you could, if you could sit down. Thank you. It's all about the money, you know. It's all about the Washingtons. Ready? Mm -hmm. Welcome to Superstar Cap Bros. Diamond Friday. I'm Jay. And I'm Iron Sparks. You sound sad. Well, have you seen this week? I tried to block it out of my We're mind. We're like one for four so far. One for four. Oh, good days. Oh, yesterday was a good day. Yes. Today should be a good day. It's Diamond. Well, it takes a lot of skill to get into diamond nowadays. But you know what happens sometimes when you're looking for diamonds? You find charcoal, which is also very, very, very valuable. Or you get burned from lava. That is true. That is true. But then, you know, that's a risk we have to take for you guys. But this is the Starcraft, not the Minecraft. It's a craft. It is a craft. Arts and crafts? No. All right. We're too, we're too old for that. All right, guys, before we introduce players, just to let you know, because we need some good games, and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're... <laughs> so send your replays to superstarcraftbros at gmail.com. Email address is down below in the description. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button as well. And that like button. We'd appreciate it. And uh, with that said, let's introduce our players and see how Diamond Friday plays out. In our top left corner of Akalon Waste, we have our Red Protoss Siroc from USC. Ooh, that's... Okay. And his opponent, the blue Protoss, 333, three, three, or 3D FX Voodoo. Ah, oh, see what he did there? 3D oh. FX. Oh, you're so oh. space and Voodoo and the, the oh. magic. and the, oh. This is a mirror matchup. Indeed, because you know what? This is the week of mirrors. Well, didn't we have one non mirror? Yes. All right. That was a broken mirror. Gotcha. All right. Sorok Gateway. Voodoo, scouting. Gateway. Gateway is Forge. Oh, Forge. Damn it. Oh. Do we. S yeah. Pylon. Yep. Yeah, cheese. Yeah. Pop, pop, pylon. This looks very similar to that other pop, cannon pop, pop, rush. Pylon. What day was that on? I don't even remember. I don't remember either. Uh, third. No. Yeah. Yesterday. Right. It was it, yesterday. Right? Was it yesterday? Yeah. With Nick's? With the, with the cheese break? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nick's one. Yeah. yeah. Alright, looks like Voodoo is going to be cheesing the hell out of Sir Rock. Bit of bit of a bit of a classic Protoss cheddar, I believe, or Swiss. I, I really can't tell. Hey, look, he can see himself. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sorok does not see the cheese down in the corner, but he does know that a probe was doing a lot of scouting. It looks like this red probe is doing the. Hey, is there any cheese going on? It's gonna be like, ah, yep, there's some cheese going on. So what's his response gonna be? I mean, he already has a probe across the map, so we could always throw down a proxy because the cyber is gonna be down. Oh, oh, it's gonna start taking the cannon fodder. Once this one Cannon is finished. Potter, the cannon's yeah. going to start pooping on it? Yes. Okay. Um, it's very oh. ugly cheese. 
All right. Uh, wow. Hello, aggressive cannons. But you know, Mothership Core is halfway done. Oh uh, yeah, and it is getting a chrono boost on it as well. Holy hell, that's an aggressive cheese. Uh, and you know, Srox is like, hey, you want this base? I'll get my own. Yeah, he's he's prepping to move that around. This this Mothership Core might be able to stop that cannon from warping in, which will actually protect the mineral line for a little bit. Yeah, but it's gonna be close. I mean, even, the, even still, there's gonna be Whew. more pop, more cannons popping in. Um, uh oh, cannon does finish with half life. It looks like uh, Sorok is gonna be forced to run away. Yeah, right now he's gonna have to try to sk skirt them out of the base. Voodoo will see it happening, so he knows yeah. he's gonna know something's up. Oh! And he does get that block off on the ramp. And you can't do that on the bottom anymore, but you can do it on the top. Come on. God, this is this is like. Seriously? For Rizzle. Come on. Voodoo, really? I I give him kudos for thinking to block the ramp off. Seriously? Yes, this I do. Is a, this is a gentleman's war. There is we, no gentleman's war. There are no rules of war. There ain't no gentlemen war. on Battle.net, that's for There sure. are no rules of war. Alright, um, that, uh, well, I mean, Tarak does have the Nexus down there. I don't know if Voodoo knows about that. No, he doesn't. He does not know about that because the, the probe that made it was the one that scouted his base, so yeah. he, never, he wasn't sure if he returned home or not. But still, uh, Sorok is going to be at a great di disadvantage you know, going on. I do like that Sorok is not moving the Mothership Core away. He is kind of doing like his last defense here. Mm -hmm. um, Voodoo is going to realize there is another Nexus on the field now because... Not yet. It does take oh, some just, time. Yeah. I mean, eventually he's not going to be revealed. Uh, damn, that was an aggressive cannon rush. Which, but you uh, know what? Hey, look, all my probes are over here now. Yeah, uh, Mother Shakur is now over there at the Nexus with the Stalker. It actually master called all those units over there. Yeah, that was, a, that was actually not a bad move, too. Uh, it looks like the Stalker and Mother Shakur are going to be like, hey, you know, let's take a walk. Let's uh, head down to Voodoo's base. See, how's, how's it going? Yeah, so. But there's going to be. There's not the most opportune place cannon unless the Mother Shakur decides to go, like, there and back again. Yeah, I don't know if it's a Hobbit, but okay. <laughs> Uh, Stalker does, uh, reveal itself there. And Actually, it might be a great place, Ken. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, Stalker's gonna head in there. There is another oh, cannon at the top. That was, uh, like a crouching tiger. And, uh, it looks like, uh, the Stalker's gonna be in a good position to get some s hits off, unless he gets tased to death by a pack of probes, which I think he is. Well, you know, electricity can be dangerous. Yeah, especially ones capable of cutting crystals. Indeed. Uh, Mothership Core now moves in and do some harassing damage on here. It's got to keep its distance because there are two cannons stationed around that next. You know, it is going to prevent Voodoo from mining on this half of the mineral patch as long as this isn't just attacking the geyser. Nope, it, it is, but I mean, not a huge range. It does force Voodoo to throw down another cannon. Um, back at Sorok's base, he's going uh, Stargate. Which, you know, it could be, uh, it could work. You get the Voider out. Um, get the charge up. Mm, are these armored? Yeah, it, it'll do bonus damage to these cannons. Yeah. Uh, you know what's really sad is Sorok has more supply, has higher level tech essentially than Voodoo, and he got cheese. Well, you know, he, and he's expanding. He just has the more supply because he was continually building the probes. Yeah, yeah, and he actually was able to work them all out. Um, Stalker comes out from Voodoo to try and get rid of this Mothership Core, and... Mastery call. All right. I was like, does it cloak? No. <laughs> okay. All right. The Stargate's done. You know, I'd actually like to see an Oracle. But, okay. Well, you know, the Oracle won't be that great because there are those cannons Yeah, out, that's true. That's true. And it'll be easily picked off. Whereas the Void Ray, you get, you get a few of them masked up. You get some ground units as well. It could really spell trouble. Well, uh, Voodoo was very, very aggressive on his cheese early on in the game. But unfortunately, Starrock was able to slip through, create another base, and mass recall his units there. Uh, so, uh, kind of, we have a reset of the game. It kind of feels like both players kind of going through the opening builds for a standard Protoss game opener. And uh, here comes Voodoo the Goat. Oh, uh, found it. But he did not see that Void Ray. I don't know. No, believe. he does not. Uh, what, what do you think about him moving out with just the Mothership Core, Stalker, and a Void Ray? Well, you know, it can do some damage. He knows Voodoo is not going to have that much because of all the investment he did on the cheese. But it really could be risky if he loses either of these use prematurely. Yeah, now these two Stalkers did, um... Report for duty. Okay. That's what they did. All right. Uh, stalkers did find that other expansion and report. Okay. Yeah, we're the same way. Big eye, little eye. With no nose. Yeah. Um, li little aggressive, I think, right now with 
with these units, uh, yeah. the stalkers are going to be able to easily micro their way to a kill of the Void Ray. Yeah, like I was mentioning, do. you just don't want to lose these units, because even though you do have that base set up, it's still, you know, you have to be careful. Yeah, I mean, I would have liked to see more gateway units from Sorok. And uh, the high ground might be the thing to save the Mothership Core, though... No, it'll get Yeah, good. these stalkers are going to be pick it off. They do throw down a uh, time warp, and uh, four stalkers rush in to try and get this another... Void Ray's up and ready. Time Warp actually paying. Doing a good job. Yeah. Um, but again, Ciroc, just be careful not to lose any more units. He's, yeah. He's at an advantage right now because he does have that Void Ray prior uh, covering. Providing let let covering those run fire. away and just... Okay, does does get the cancel on the pylon. Kind of amazing there's no cannons by the door, but okay. No, Forge is not a big issue right now. Good, um, good move, Ciroc. We'll go back to base. Matt, get some more units. Um, now that the Stalkers are on the field for Voodoo, I don't think Ciroc should continue Void Ray production. He's going to rep him. Um, Why? Because he's, he's repping him. Well, he's going to report him for what? Um, for... Um, Does he think he's cheating? He's obviously map hacking. Totally, totally map hacking. Um, oh, another Void Ray thrown away. Is it uh, those map hacks right there, you know? It's like it's like it's clouding his vision instead of like revealing it. I think the only time you should report someone, because it's incredibly hard to hack in the Blizzard net, I believe, if they're being incredibly rude and bad-mannered. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't see that. Unless he's private messaging in. Which, you know... That would be some good APM. All right. Uh, good curve for the Voodoo troops, but it looks like a reinforcing wave of Stalker's Warps, and it's going to force Voodoo to run away. Um, I think Sorok. There you go. Get rid of that proxy pile that was beaming in. I say get another round and go for it. You know something I would like to have seen from Voodoo? Tech. Upgrades. S expansion. Upgrades. Upgrades. You have, you've had this for the entire time, but you have no upgrades. A breakfast burrito? God, you know, that's the only I thing love I, breakfast That's like the burritos. only thing I eat at Jack in the Box. A steak and egg burrito? I don't think I eat at Jack. Why don't you take me to Jack in the Box? I took you once. That was like a long, long time ago. And then we went to the movies. What did we see? Narnia. That was a good movie. Yeah, it was. It was. All right, a uh, bunch of sentries and zealots on the way. Decent force fields cutting the stalkers in half, but there's a void ray, so... Yeah, I mean, it did It did force uh, one stalker to get destroyed from those force fields, but I mean, uh, I think the force fields kind of just saved Voodoo a little bit. Um... Well, At this point, I still, I still feel Voodoo has the better the better uh, stance in this game right now. You mean uh, Syrup? No, I think Voodoo has like, kind of the, the higher win rate chance right now. Uh, more force field thrown down, forcing Syrup to step back. Only problem when Voodoo uh, tries to chase, slows him down. Um, but Syrup's just going to easily be able to clean this up yeah, just because of the numbers. I think now because there's not... Not as many stalkers for Voodoo. I think this is gonna be kind of a back and forth for a while. I think. I think. Uh, I think he might be able to push in after this because there's not much warping in back here, and these stalkers are gonna be easily cleaned up. Uh, uh, Slark, Slark, Slark might. Or lose. Slark, his cousin, his evil well, twin. It looks cousin. like Slark, and that's a character in Dota. Report what? No, no, no that's Reprot. <laughs> I am going to go Reprot you. He's All right, French man from He's Monty Python and the Holy Grail. He's reporting for duty, repping him, and now we're prodding him. All right, good job, Ciroc, on the cheese stop. That's that's good. Just smashing all over that cheese, grounding it up, and making it into a fine cheese. -it. Or maybe he's, like, grating the cheese. Oh, grated cheese is good. Melts very nicely. All right, guys, leave a comment down below how you think this cheese stop went. Hit the like button. Subscribe, greatly appreciate it. Um, Send in your replays. Yeah, at superstarkerpros at gmail.com. Hope you guys had a great week. Much better than Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday did. And uh, good luck, have fun. Hopefully next week will be better. GG! GG. Report. <laughs> Report what? Reprot. Oh, he's going to reprot.